I'm Chevy. Today, let's discuss multiple personalities. Hello, friends. Welcome to the shed. It is Thursday. Just had a granola bar. Shouldn't have eaten that right before turning the camera on. Um, today, I want to talk to you about multiple personalities. And no, I, I'm not talking about like a mental disorder where somebody believes that they are two different people or whatever. I'm talking about the way that we present ourselves um, differently in different social settings. So last night, I'm at game night, and a friend at game night remarked, the person that I am on camera and the person that I am at game night are two totally different people. And it's true. Uh, that's not to say that what I'm giving you here is not a genuine me. I, I'm not, this isn't a character. I'm not uh, putting on airs when I'm here in front of the camera. Um, but what, what I'm giving you here on this show, on this program, is a uh, more professional version of myself. It's the me that goes to meetings. It's the me that uh, interacts with the public. Um, it's the me that has serious talks with friends. The, <laughs> the me that I am around my children and at game night and um, in private is a very different person. That me is much more animated and loose-tongued and <laughs> offensive and a bit crazy. My kids will tell you that I'm crazy. Um, and neither of them are fake. Neither of them are fake personalities. They're just different, right? The person that I am at those game nights and with my kids when I'm goofing off and being completely zany is the like uber me that's me dialed up to 11. it's me just it's it's my release it's a way that i can let go of all of the constrictions that my day job and my night job and acceptable societal behavior put on me and allow me to just be free for a little while. And it turns a lot of heads. I am a, a difficult, in my opinion, I am a difficult person to accept in those situations. I'm not really sure. Um, I've always felt like my friends are uh, burdened by my behavior. At, in social situations, I don't know. Nobody's ever come to me and talked to me about it. So I'm not honestly sure how people take me when I act out. Um, and I try to dial it back, but I enjoy making people feel good and laughing. And when I get that response, that tends to turn the dial up one notch farther until I'm I'm at that, you know, maxed out mark. So I I think... Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like we all have some sort of dual, you know, personalities. The me, that, you know, the you that, that talks to your mother is not the same you that talks to your best friend. Those are two different people. Um, mine are probably slightly more extremely opposing than other people. Uh, I am zany and completely wild and goofy and I want to figure out a way to share that with you on this show. Um, we had the discussion about bringing some friends on. I have a friend and I've talked to him about it and he said, sure, he would love to do some episodes. I need to build him a, a stool. I don't have a stool for a second person, but I could bring him on and maybe, maybe we just discuss whatever hockey or life and probably some of that personality would come out. Um, or maybe we just come on and discuss that personality. I I'm, I thought really long and hard about whether I should bring my oldest daughter down here for this discussion, but I didn't uh, because I just wanted to give you give you the chance to say no. <laughs> maybe you don't want to see that part of me. The truth is, maybe I don't want to see that part of me. Um,
my friends have explained that part of me as <clears throat> by saying that there's no difference between me sober and drunk. Just when I'm drunk, I get louder. And that's probably a pretty good way of putting it. When I am a, a, in a social setting like that, I can be uh, difficult. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm completely off base on this as well. Do you have a wild and zany side that comes out without the use of substances? I don't use substances uh, to alter my mood because, well... That's a lie. I mean, I take an antidepressant, so I guess that's kind of a lie. But I don't use mind-altering drugs like, uh, you know, weed and, and booze and all that stuff to get myself into a different mindset. I just am that way. And I don't know if other people work like that or not. I don't know if other people have such extreme opposite behavioral patterns, you know, uh... We all have a professional person that, that lives in there, and we have to put that suit on and have grown-up time. I much prefer to be a kid. Um, being a grown-up is tiring. It is so tiring. And so often I am just a child, <laughs> a large, bearded child. And, uh, yeah, they can be tough to deal with. So let me know down there in the comments. Let me know if you have a friend like me who has these complete split personalities, or if you are one of those people that come out of your shell in certain situations and um, turn it up. Turn the dial up. Because um, I'm really curious. I want to know where I'm at on the scale of normalcy. <laughs> I don't think I'm very normal. Let me put it to you that way. Um, tomorrow's Friday, and I was going to do the box today for the shirt. I'm not, because I figured Friday has traditionally been when I've opened packages and hung things on the wall. So we're going to make that box tomorrow. We're going to hang it on the wall, and uh, we'll see if you guys like it. Don't forget, if you want to send me something, you can. The um, mailing information is in the description, as well as on the website, thedailyshed.com forward slash contact. And if you send me a letter or a package or something, I'll send you a postcard. Uh, so please do that. I would really appreciate it. I really appreciate you being here and liking and commenting and subscribing. And more than that, I appreciate you sharing my videos. Thank you guys so much for doing that. I will see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait. I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from NPS.gov. That's the National Park Service. How long does it take for a cactus arm to grow? By 95 to 100 years in age, the Sagaro cactus can reach a height of 15 to 16 feet and could start to produce its first arm. By 200 years old, the cactus has reached full height, reaching upwards of 45 feet tall. Some saguaros have been seen with dozens of arms, while others never produce a single one. That is crazy! I had no idea these things were that old. Those are the ones that people cut open and drink the water, right? Like, it's gonna hack open this 200 year old cactus and drink the water. Screw this thing. That's awesome. I want one now. <laughs>